So basically, I made the world's first working chess in Minecraft. And no, I don't mean I just put down a few pieces and call that chess. I mean I actually made the entire chess system work fully in one data pack. This data pack shows you all the possible moves a piece can make. Pieces can even capture other pieces like they would normally in chess. Pawns can be promoted to queen or any other piece when they reach the end of the board. It can even detect when a king is in check, and it shows if it's checkmate, stalemate, or if a player ran out of time, because yes, there are even timers which you can set to any time you want. And to top it all off, you can even change the theme of the entire chessboard, because just why not? This thing really is the first and only fully functional chess in all of Minecraft, which you can play with your friends. So I'll show you all the things it can do and how you can play it throughout this video. Also, I challenged the one and only Mick Yum to a chess battle later on in the video. So you're not gonna wanna miss out on that because it was the most epic chess battle Minecraft has ever seen. But guys, the best part is that any of you guys can join my server, play.commandgeek.com and play chess for yourself. Once you join the lobby, simply hop over the bridge and click on the chess NPC and it'll actually take you to a nice chess board all set up for you to play. If you walk up to any of these signs on the side of the board, it will actually join you to the queue and if anyone else is online and they also want to play chess, it will actually pair you up with someone and you can play chess in Minecraft. And trust me, it'll be a lot of fun because you might even be able to play against me or Freak and I can guarantee you that would be that'd be very fun. And Geekland also includes a lot of other games you can play featuring a lot of my other data packs that I've made in the past. So if you want to fight evil trees or use my epic weapon to kill a bunch of zombies or even kill other players, well, you can do that all on Geekland. And again, the IP is play.commandgeek.com and I can guarantee you, you will have a lot of fun. And of course, if this video gets 10,000 likes, I will release the data pack for all of you to download in the description down below. So if you want to play chess with your friends in Minecraft, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out when I do release it. And as always, Command Freak will be uploading the bloopers of this video on his channel, so definitely go check that out afterwards. Trust me, it's insanely hilarious. Link for it will be down in the description. Now to craft up one of these chess boards, you're going to need five smooth quartz and four black concrete. Just put them like so in a crafting table because you know this is the most logical way to craft a chessboard, and in return you will get a chessboard. Walk up to any open space like I have here, preferably eight by eight obviously because that's the size of a chessboard, and place it down. And it will actually spawn in a full chessboard with all the pieces, and you can see in my hotbar, I have the three controls that I will need to play the game. Now the first control you'll be using is the green check mark because that is what you use to start the game. Now if you just right click it, you'll see there's insufficient teams because, well, no one chose a team and I'm all by myself and you know, it's really hard to play chess by yourself. But before you actually start the game, you can actually sneak to choose the different time. Now you can see in my hotbar, it is actually changing the time. So right now it's five minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute, even 10 seconds if you wanna do a really short game. And if you sneak again, it will actually show no time at all. So there'll be no time limit and then you can cycle through all the times again. So you can really choose how long or how short you want to play this game. I'll set the game to five minutes now because that seems like a good time. Also, if you press F or swap hands while holding the check mark, it will actually change the entire theme of the board. And there's a few themes here you can choose from, so you can really customize this however you want. I like this one, so that's what we're gonna stick with. So to demonstrate just how awesome this chess game really is, I've got the one and only Command Freak here, who is actually not too bad at chess himself. And we are going to do a bit of a chess match to demonstrate how everything works. Now, the first thing you do when you play chess is to pick a team. And you can do that simply by walking up to the king with the particle above its head. So I can walk up to the white king and I am on team white now. Next, I can simply sneak to select a time. So I'm gonna set the time to, let's make it 10 minutes, seems like a good time. And then right click to start the game. Now you can see that the game has started and my time is actually ticking. And if that timer ever goes to zero, I will actually lose. So I better make some sort of move before that happens. To make a move, I simply hold the orange move control and I can right click on any piece and it'll actually show me all the possible moves that piece can make. And if there is no possible move, for example, this bishop cannot move anywhere, it'll actually just turn red, showing that there is no place it can move. But instead of moving the bishop, I'm gonna just do a standard start, which is moving the pawn from the king two spaces. Now you can see that while it is Freak's turn, I actually can't do anything, no matter how hard I right click, nothing will happen, and I've gotta wait for Freak to make a move. All right, he moved his pawn as well. I'm gonna move my knight now, and you can see that it shows the three possible places that it can move. I'll move it right here and attack his pawn. 
he moved his knight over there to protect his pawn. And even though this normally would be a very bad move in chess, I'm going to do it anyway just to demonstrate how it works. I can actually take my knight and you can see that it actually highlights this piece because I can capture his piece with my knight. So if I do that, you can see that his piece actually goes away. It's now in my inventory and well, he's down one piece. He's going to capture my knight over there, which is a very logical thing to do. And I just lost my knight. But it's fine, we'll continue. I will attack his knight with my pawn like so. Now, of course, since this is a complete chess recreation, it can detect everything, including check. So if Freak actually puts my king in check with his queen, you can see that the square underneath my king actually does turn red, and I can only move my king out of check. So I cannot move my king into check, which would be right there, and I also cannot move any other pieces which aren't actively protecting against check, because if I, if I were to move this piece, my king would still be in check, and obviously that is not allowed. However, if any piece can protect against check, for example, this pawn can move one space forward to protect against check, well, in that case, it will actually let me play, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, my king has been put in check again, this time by his knight, and of course, you know, none of these pieces can move, but what I can do is actually, I can move my queen and I can't just move it anywhere I can specifically only capture this piece normally the queen would also be able to move somewhere right here but since that actually doesn't protect against check it only lets me capture this piece so that is what I'm going to do and of course if your king has not moved yet you can castle it by right clicking and you can see here now that it actually shows a second square if I right click it will actually castle just like you would in regular chess and of course this works in both directions so freak can actually castle the long way just like so so it really works works in any direction, but only if your king has not moved yet. The pawns also follow all the rules of chess, so if it hasn't moved yet, it can actually move two squares, but for example, this one, which has already moved, can only move one square, and it can also eat diagonally, but not forward, like it would in regular chess. And of course, the most important aspect of the game also completely works if I move my king over here, and we can see now that Freak can move his queen over to do checkmate, and if he does, it actually completely detects that as checkmate and will announce black wins checkmate. And this will work in any checkmate scenario if your king or any other piece cannot move and it is check it will tell you that it is checkmate. Now, of course, there are some situations in chess where it isn't checkmate, but instead is stalemate. For example, when the king is not in check, but it cannot move anywhere. So if I move my king right down here, which wouldn't be a very smart move, but I'm gonna do it anyway, and Freak moves his king up right there, there's actually no place my king can go, but it isn't check, so instead it is a draw or otherwise known as stalemate. Now it's also stalemate when there are only two kings left on the board and no other pieces. So if I eat this pawn, which is the last piece in the game, it will also give me stalemate since there's no other pieces in the game. And obviously with no pieces, you can't really do anything. So it would be a draw. So you can see that this chess really has every single feature that you could possibly need in chess and follows every single rule. But guys, I think it's time we go challenge my friend McYum to a bit of a Minecraft chess battle. Hello, McYum. Hello, sir. Are you ready for... Uh... I am ready for war. I'm one of the best in the world. Undisputed champion. I don't think I've ever lost a game in the past 12 years. How many games have you played in the last 12 years, though? Oh, too many. I'd say trillions. So, McYum, I have you here on my server because we are going to be doing possibly Minecraft's most epic chess match that the world has ever seen. How do, how do you feel about that? I have no feelings. I am all mind. Oh, uh, okay. I'm mm -hmm. in the zone. I cannot lose. So what will happen if you do lose, though? My mind cannot simply comprehend it. I have no emotion, no feeling towards that. It just will not happen. It's like saying, you know, would the law of physics be broken, you know? Would gravity, you know, cease to exist? It just, it's a constant. I win. Right. So, so you're saying that your victory is, is a law of nature. Yes. Wow. Let's start for 10 minutes. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds great. Oh. Here we go. It is my play. So I'll make the first move. And above your hotbar, you can see the time. So don't run out of time. I see. Oh, okay. Wow. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pro. Oh, okay. That was an interesting play. I haven't really seen that a lot, honestly. Is that like some really exotic method I haven't seen yeah, before? Yeah, this, uh, this is my chess mastery, if you will. I'm really confused at this point. I guess we'll just do something like that. I'll just uh, go ahead and eat that one. Got you on ropes, buddy. Well, you know, it's it's not too scary just you fell yet. into my trap. Uh, not quite. Uh, Seem a bit confused. That wasn't... Yeah, shocked you with that mm. one, huh? 
Aha, uh -huh, you ate it. Whatever, we'll, we'll go with that. Oh, no. Another uh, attack, yeah. Uh, this man's a savage. All right, now, here's the thing, Mikyum. Here's the thing. I can eat your queen. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to go for it and eat your queen. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. That's right. Got you under ropes. Well, not exactly, because I can just, uh, you know, get a free piece over here. And if I'm not mistaken, I can just get another free piece over here. Look at that. You know what? I think I'll just, uh, just keep going. I'll just keep taking all your pieces. Well, I guess I'll take another piece. I don't know, is this like some s special strategy, like giving away all your pieces? What I can do... Just check. Checkmate. Oh no, he just left! <laughs> he just left! Oh, he's back! I demand a 10 second match. Let's do it, yeah, why not? Let's do a 10 second match. Last one was a fluke, last one was a fluke. First time I've lost. Right. In 25 years. You can just uh, start us off whenever. Alright, so we have- Oh, 10 seconds! Okay, okay, 10 seconds. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is this? It's Jack! It's Jack! What?! Yeah, it's Jack! You have to- you have to protect your king. Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. We got this. Poor McYum. Just because you lost a chess does not mean it's the end of the world. Well, McYum, you are going to be going up against Freak now, and we'll see if you can beat Freak. Uh, I hope you can, because uh, just judging by his face, you, sh you should be able to beat him. Okay, how about we just play a nice 15 minute game? 15, oh wow, okay. Let's see how this goes. Wait, I swear my queen is in the wrong place. No, nah, that's, that's the right place. Uh, uh... Interesting move. Now, Mikyum, I, I definitely would not want to question your methods, but don't you think it'd be kind of uh, smart to take over the center of the board? I am focused on winning. Aha. Uh -huh. First check of the game. Not really sure what Freak is doing. Can't really see a distinct plan here, but, but we'll see where this goes. Not that I can really see a plan from, from your side either. Um, there is always a plan. He fell from oh, my exchange queens. Oh. This will be interesting. Your pawn was that close to making it to the end. But now it will never see the light of day. Well, I guess it will for a short bit. Oh, not checkmate yet. Pretty sure you could have done checkmate there, Freak. Freak, you're making this so much harder than it needs to be. You could have done it like five steps ago. Check, mate. Mikyam, you, you lost again to a derp with a fish. Oh, I guess we should play the dramatic music. Bye, Mikyam. Where, where are you? Where are you going? All, all I am gonna say is, um, two people who I played against did have up. Yeah, good game to the guys. You know, <clears throat> really, yeah. really fair game. With that, I think the only way to end this. You know, this is a tradition that we always do on 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 the channel, where the participant has to die, unfortunately. So, yep, there we go. How do you have a flinted steel? Why do you have a flinted steel? Oh. <laughs> Grave oak.